Hello and welcome back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Total War Warhammer. Playing as Cetra the Imperishable. One of the Tomb King factions. And where we last left off we were trying to gain more of the books of Nagash. We had much self to deal with the Eyes of the Jungle and the Dwellers of Zardok. We finally managed to pin down the Dwellers. And even though we didn't completely destroy their army, I don't think they can replenish. And yeah, we managed to get the book off them anyway. We are going to be going to war with dwarfs in the future. And the meanwhile, we've been throwing money away like it's no one's business, trying to uh, get some higher tier units on the go. I need to get you recruiting. Ah, uh, let's see. From the sands. So you are my construct army. I'm trying to think of what else I can recruit. Let's see, what do I have here? You know, a Necro Sphinx. Two Cambrian War Sphinxes. It's pretty good. An Acropolis Knights of Halberds. Uh, I don't have any of those just yet. What's good about Halberds? They're anti large, large units. Uh, sure. Actually, can I get them here? I can. Okay. Just save myself, save myself a little bit of time. And that's it at the moment, but we are still building more advanced tier buildings. Galvaraz still has an item slot. We're still trying to build up the surplus. Um... You can probably switch you over to growth again. New mass has now got two major pyramids on the go. Kemri is pretty much fully developed. In fact, I don't think there's anything we can really do but upgrade. The salt plane here. If I get that done. That's it. Once that's built. Campaign movement. Um. We'll wait one more turn and get a little bit more unit experience. Not that it matters because he's gaining unit experience here anyway. We are trying to get more surplus population here. That's in nine turns. We can get a second necropolis. Oh, finally we can get a tomb city here. Get that done and switch it over to growth once again. This is already on growth. Good. We have so much territory now. Um, let's see. Might as well just sit around. Sit around for you. Eight more turns. Oh, why are we not taxing you? Holy hell, this place isn't not taxing. Swedenberg, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, 
So we need to go deal with the Eyes of the Jungle. That's how the jungle like forms these like natural paths you need to follow. Looks like it goes all the way around here. This is the um the Black Creek Raiders. Looks like they do like a full circle around here. So it's probably easier for us just to take on the awakening rather than take on this moving army. Also it gives us an excuse to beat up on the vampire coast. Right, okay. End this turn. Our army is replenishing for the moment. The dwarves will probably want another non-aggression pact, but when... Ooh, hello. Is that your third ritual? I am concerned that... The Vortex victory would mean victory for the other factions before we can get all the books in Nagash. So our Necro Sphinx is even more powerful now. I did look into the Empowered Heralds, and it should really say, but you need to get all of the Dynasty, uh, all the Dynasties researched. Which really sucks. Um, probably should actually get started on our next one. We don't use, we haven't used any skeleton horsemen at all. Post battle loot. Lich priests. Acropolis knights. I guess we have a few of them. 19 turns. We are currently recovering. You're set. Let's just see if we can intercept them. Oh, we can. Uh, okay. Thanks. Just recover some more, sure, why not? I didn't expect them to uh, let me fight. I guess they thought they could take us on one on one. The crypt barracks was finished here. Um, even though we swept that over, it was probably a mistake. So we'll just in, we'll spend the money because we need some more. Need some more Tomb God. How many can we recruit now? Two and six. That's really good. Basically, we could switch out like Wakaf or... Is it Lamisash? Who has Spearmen as their frontline unit. We rank 30 to get... A Legion of Legend Necro Sphinx. Right, either way, constructs it is. We've decided to have a construct army because we are probably a bit crazy. So that'll be 16 constructs. I mean, it's a lot of knights.
It actually shouldn't be too bad, to be honest. I mean, we have no meat. He means nothing. We really need to put him on a steed and a chariot as well, though. He could actually end up on a war sphinx. That would make a lot of sense. Let's have a construct army. Let's have them all mounted. And then apart from that, I don't know what else you should have. Probably hang around and wait. Okay. So we'll go round. And I think we'll just check out a few of these settlements. Probably should have uh, checked out a Quetzal while we were there. And then we'll head back up to the Awakening and maybe just cause some uh, frustration there. Okay. Let's uh, end this turn. Let's see when the eyes of the jungle might come back north. Thing is, we don't really want to hang around and wait for them. But I don't want to be chasing them through the jungle here. Because the longer we wait, the more rituals there. Uh, more rituals your factions actually undergo. Nope. Your man's away from me, what do you care? Oh, hello. Clan Moors are made peace. Royal Barracks here. And then we switch you over? I mean, I'm sure it's not a tier 3 building for the Vault of Nagash. It is, but we need to lose the Regnant Catacombs. What we'll do, we'll just get more growth. Because we only need 4 population surplus to get the next tier, the Black Pyramid. Yeah, that's fine. So, I think they're coming. I might... Do I want to bring my heroes down? It's going to take too long. But in case they get past us... This is my endeavor. I need to block the army more than anything. Uh, actually, you're going to go join... That's right, we need on. Necrotech, you need to get up here. Arts, the greatest artist. And you need to get up there as well. That's right, you were going to go join the army of uh, constructs. I keep my own counsel. Ever living. Onwards, legions! And. I think Seti got wounded, didn't he? Yeah, he got assassinated. That's why we were so pissed off at the dwarves. We had just got Seti back and then he got assassinated by their rank 18 uh, Fane. fully recovered. We do want our army actually together. Let's uh, get onto the road. You're not fully recovered, but we'll pop you in the ambush. You are recovering. Address me as your highness. Find my heart. Okay. Oh yeah, you had a two two. You have sixteen. Greatness comes. Two necrotechs, two tomb scorpions. 
that's what you need. There you go. Even though we could get more higher tier, um, once our tier 5 settlement capitals get upgraded, we'll, even ha we'll have even more. They get constructs available. It'd be great to have more Hyro Titans. High Elf Intervention. Dark Elf in Intervention. Clan Moors are pushing. And Chaos will be there. The High Elves are paid to interrupt the ritual. As have the Dark Elves. So the Skaven might be the furthest ahead. I think this is their third ritual at the very least. My soul I think not. Yeah, here they come. My will be done. Loyal as all should be. This tomb priest is a uh, pretty damn amazing. 131 charge. Holy hell. 61 melee attack. Yeah, it's another pushover. Servants. See if we can catch them in an ambush. Skull repository is finished. So that's the land of the dead finished now. There's nothing else. Unless we want to change up our buildings, there's nothing else we really need to achieve. We could get a new dynasty. Just get ourselves another army. And we're gaining 59 Canopic Jaws a turn, which means we wouldn't be too far from getting a 6, well, so that'd be 6 and then maybe the 7th army. I think we will. This is where things just start going crazy. They were already crazy in the first place, but we can now start recruiting armies without a special lord. So, sure. And we could use this army to transfer Tomb Guard over to our existing armies. Which is actually what we'll do. We'll uh, recruit Tomb Guard. Actually, we should have recruited him from up there. Oh, well, that doesn't matter. Recruit uh, our Tomb Guard and send them down to Wakath. Served me in life. Get less attrition. And I think the halberds I would prefer. But that's actually a pretty good front line. Actually, well, a full eight. With the halberds maybe on the outside. And then maybe you have to in them behind them, and a screaming skull for catapult. We'll get it. We'll take it since we've never used one yet. Okay. We want to go over here. Hate Skaven. This one will have to do. So 
So, let's see if we can catch the eyes of the jungle. I mean, I don't know how difficult this fight will be. The Way Watchers, Chameleon Skinks? Bastilodons, 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 like the ancient Stegodon here. They, well, he only has 10 shots, but they're really good at melee as well, that's the thing. Treeman. Yeah, okay. They're the ones that are going to be the challenge. The ultimate shrine! Girls are interfering with Lord Master Mundy. Hello. Well, well, address me as your highness. We never tire. I date to move. Rock walk. Move flame. Interesting. Getting out of here is going to be uh, a stram. I don't know what's happened here. Skaven, maybe? Oh, we might be able to get out of here without a fight against the last defenders. I'm not really interested in hitting them hard. Right, we need a strike and then um, get the hell out of here. Mighty am I. Unliving curse. Yeah. Move. So that happening. Moving. My will be done. Nehekara rises from the sand. Find my harem, land of the dead. We're not getting any closer. Oh, king of Nehekara. Destroy them. There we are. So only three of our armies. It's the good three armies, though. I'm still concerned about the ability of our. Chariot only army, it is just a support army, but since we're going for a fourth book of Nagash, I can't believe the dwarfs did that. I mean, I suppose it was inevitable, but I was hoping we would um, be the ones to declare on them, not the other way around. 
Really, our vassals are the ones who are pulling us into the war because they're getting attacked. I think we might lose the Lost Plateau despite having walls. Their fame damaging the garrison really weakened our defenders there. And those constructs aren't going to help us. Oh, from 13 to 14. Lovely. And they're uh, up on the hill again, aren't they? Well, we're about to get slaughtered. Well, we know the routine, lads. Get ready. That doesn't really matter the formation so much. Got reinforcements coming in from behind. Are they coming for us? They are. Oh well. So be it. Unit four. Get in. Move forward. Archers. Move in. You can be group five, including you. Move in. Oh, you all here. Traversing. Onwards, legions. Centra the imperishable. Might as well join us. They'll see my flock of the Jaffa and might push in. Yep. Yeah, now they're gonna re now they're going to regret that decision, because we're just going to push north. Yep, here we go. Going. Yep, 
Where's my other tomb scorpion? Ah. He's in trouble. Push in. We need to find a general. Oh, I didn't realize how bad a tomb scorpion was getting hit. I think they're in trouble. We can pull them out. In. You four come round this way, try and get round behind them. the general Good, we took care of the Lord. There we go. Damn, the Sphinx really chewed us up there. Did we lose anyone? Uh, not from Cetra's army, at the very least. We could have went a lot worse, that's for sure.
The fourth volume. A carrion book of Shaiish. In its pages, the secrets to cheat mortality. Only the honorable abide by the rules of life. And where are they? Rotting in the ground, lost to oblivion. Again, the shrieking blade causes fear, causes terror, and the talisman of endurance. Income from trade has been boosted. Canopic jars generated. Okay. Handy. Land of the dead. He will serve. Etc. Could you catch? You could, but then we'd have to fight them manually. And because otherwise we'd lose our tomb scorpions. Futile. Yeah, his archers would eat us alive. We don't have many units that could hunt them down, apart from the Necro Sphinx and the War Sphinx. Okay. So, we need to recover, and then we need to go deal with some dwarfs, it seems, and they chose to attack us. Well, not yet, but they probably will. Don't think so. I am a rune lord, not you some don't? smith. They don't have a massive army, but it's bound to get us stronger. The greatest army. Uh, Tomb City was constructed over here. Good. Okay. That means we have a lot more to play with. Is there anything we need? Tomb Scorpions? Let's, uh... We'll switch it over to... Actually, we'll let it have some more growth. We don't really have the coin to spend anyway. So let's not worry about that. A royal barracks here. I mean, costly, but probably worthwhile. So we have four of the five books of Nagash that we need. He does not impress me. Hunifer is amazing. We should probably bring him back home. He would be able to count that. That uh, Fane who's causing us so much trouble. But he'll be useful where he is. The day of awakening comes. Okay. Not much we can really do, but... Hope the Lost Plateau recover. I mean... I don't know how much they could, uh... How they could hold out. What a... Mm. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. This is more important than anything else right now. The last defenders shouldn't come for me, despite them being drawn into the war. Oh. <gasps> oh! Well. Oh. Oh dear. You destroyed my garrison. But, 
Nice work. In fact, I don't even My care. Dynasty reigns supreme. Submit to your king. Take it for me. You just destroyed his army. Congrats! Wow. Impressive. My will be done. You didn't even take that many losses either. How the hell did you manage that? Huh. Jehetti is also amazing. Could we... Do you just want to strike them down? Can we... Why can't we... Well... Why can't we reach them? Hmm. We have the movement. Confusing. Either way. <laughs> there is a um Yeah. There's a sign of battle there. Okay. What's going on? rises from the sand. I don't want to. I don't think I've done something. Okay, let's just take a moment to. You don't need to do anything. Honestly, no. No. Tell you what, two seconds there. I'm actually going to. Oh. I am very confused. Is it not my? Can't even end the turn. What the hell's going on? Land of the dead. Nehekara rises from the sands. Tomb King of Nehekara. Oh, well, seriously, I'm greatly confused as to what's going on here. Hmm, two moments there. 
Sorry about that, folks. So, I was reading up online, and this is a bug. It's happened to a few people, and people have said you had to restart Steam. I thought I would just load my autosave, which occurred just as I pressed the end turn at the end of 114. Which was after we'd done the battle with the uh, Eyes of the Jungle. And thankfully, um, you can see the Assault Garrison failed this time as the, uh, the AI took their turns. We gained a cultist somehow. And yeah, the thankfully the battle went the same way. But we can end turn, which is important. Which is good. I could finish off this army. If I was to do that, would they? They're running. Where does the swamp begin? We need to go up this way anyway. You know, well, I'm not going to bother. I'll leave them to it. We need to get back. Hello. Follows the chaos. I guess they're heading. That might be what destroyed. Hmm. Yeah, it's not an amazing army. They've had uh, better days, that's for sure. So we don't really need to bring you over anymore. Oh, I need to do a uh, diplomacy. Rises from the sands. Oop, too far. Submit to your king. So Necrotex. Join the army. And you can go down and meet my... Where should we go? Well, have, we have to go to the, wait, the Awakening, don't we? So, really, we might as well re-meet at Kemri and prepare ourselves. You, you have a fourth army being constructed. You have a full front line. Really, what would you need? Because you're going to be trading some of them off. In fact, we might as well get the other Tomb Guard as well. And... Are we swapping up chariots for the, for the Tomb uh, Scorpions? Uh, that's the one army we didn't click. Yeah, he's gonna need two more. Do we want? We probably want the chariots, don't we? The chariot archers, I should say. Yeah. Okay, that's fine by me. Anything we should do? Any right should we should perform? I mean, is there any foreign armies in our territory? Don't believe so. It would be useful if the dwarves had went towards the Lost Plateau. That's not a factor anymore. Lost Plateau still has a space. Okay. Let's get some uh, more Tomb Guard, shall we? So, 
the end game is ramping up for the other factions as well. It's kind of going to be a race to the finish, isn't it? Even for us. I'm worried that the Vortex victory for them would mean we lose. God damn it, stop assaulting my garrisons, please. How? What level are you? Something ridiculous, no doubt. 21, holy hell. They're mobilizing, ready? Eleven more turns, and we can get the charge pyramid of Nagash. Yo, know, we'll let you be on your way. We have um, we have more important things to be doing, like avoiding battle with the last defenders. Once the dwarfs are gone, we will um. We'll sue for peace. I wonder if there's any Skaven here. Hmm. You know, we'll leave the jungle for the last defenders. We will send our heroes overseas. That's a face only a mother could love. Okay. You. Ah, yes. My will be done. We'll just have you gaining some more experience for your armies. Might as well actually. Embed. Oh, I forgot there's already an army there. My bad. For I sell them to actually go in. We never tire. There you go. Go sit in the salt plane for a little while. Anything else happening? Might as well get a bit more income while we wait. 4,000. Not really worthwhile. Actually, that gives us more untainted. It is going to be worthwhile. Three more turns, maybe four more turns, and we'll actually have enough for another army again. Okay. We'll see what happens here. Don't bother me. Don't bother me. Open graves. By me, what else do we need? What, what, what would we like for this army? Ah, bugger. To be honest, we actually probably should get rid of these and get some of the Tomb Guard. Uh, Attend your king, slaves. I'm gonna kick out these two as well. We just recruited them, I know, but it hasn't cost us anything. Just that we're gonna be transferring these to two of our pre-existing armies. Which I think is a bit more important. That 
Uh, I'll tell you what, we can just tell you... You're all going to be marching overseas. Just to be a right pain in the butt to these guys. Get over here. And you. You're also going over here. Your gods disagree. Anything else? Arise, my warriors. Right, what can we do? We could try and wound a few people. This is... Yeah, sure. Nice. Oh, and you leveled up. Of course you did. We should really get some uh, magic of Nehekara. We'd probably benefit from it. See if we were if we had any magic in air, Kara Cetra could have slowed down those air uh, the Way Watchers and the Chameleon Skinks from backing away from our frontline forces. There is a spell that actually slows their movement down. I think the problem with the Tomb King campaign, collecting the books of Nagash, is there's no sense of urgency against your fellow Tomb Kings. There might be a sense of urgency against the other races can control the vortex, because I'm guessing the reason why we might fail if they get a vortex victory is in the beginning it talked about with the instability of the vortex, how it's failing. We don't need all nine books of Nagash, we only need five. So if one of the races gains control of the vortex we would need all nine books to take control of the Black Pyramid. And we cannot do that. We can get eight, and Ock and the Black's done something to his. Hidden it away somewhere. So, you declared war. Well, we... I'll ignore that. That's unfortunate for you, because you're probably going to get slaughtered. Yeah, I... Uh... I figured you'd run away. We'll just reinforce one another. Oh, nice. One of the pyramids was constructed, another one's constructed next turn. More Tomb God. Actually, we might as well save that for when he's actually recruiting his own army. Or when we get our next dynasty. Oh, we have a... See? Is this Lich Priest going to be a pain? Let's 
Hmm. I can't strike him. Hopefully he can't strike me. We're quite close in air rank. as well damage a building. Nice. Okay. Saving up our gold once again. Oh yes, we were sending our heroes across the sea. I mean, they probably can't get much done, but... We're not doing anything here any anymore. Are the dwarves dealt with? I think they might be, you know. Sure. You have the attention of the imperishable. Do not squander it. Bury your head in the sands, but know that the desert is mine. <laughs> Nope. They're not destroyed. Oh. Find my harem. Well, good luck to them. So, another pyramid again. Growth in all provinces, casualty replenishment rate. Once the el oh, sorry, once once the elves ooh, that would be an insult to the dwarfs. <laughs> once the dwarfs are dealt with. I'll tell you what. Uh you Behold my greatness. It is beatific, is it not? You send your armies to go deal with this guy. I mean, we... Could he deal with any of the garrisons? No, we couldn't. If he got past them, he could strike at one of ours, though. Which I won't approve of. There we are. Citra has ranked 28. Camry we go. Submit to your king on your knees. My will be done. Never. Oh, 
Oh, make sure we got the right target deck. Karak Zorn. Not uh, the Dune Kingdoms. Just in case that could occur. Failed the wound tents. Okay. All our rights are available again. So we have a bit of gold to spend. Is there anything we need? Galbaraz has 11 turns to get a Necropolis. You could get a Necropolis now. Okay, uh, let's do that then. Get a Royal Barracks there. You could become a Tomb City. Switch over for me. You don't have anything really of... Hmm. Okay. Right, I... I think, oh, you're pretty much set now. The only thing you're really missing is a tomb priest, that uh, tomb prince to get you extra training. Okay, and I think with that we'll end this uh, turn here, and end this video, and when we come back we'll be moving our armies around, we could actually recruit another army. <sighs> could we do both at the same time? We could, but we couldn't both do, do them at Kemri, which is where I'd prefer to prepare both armies. We could... do you have... Local recruitment capacity. Maybe. Ah well. Either way, we'll end this uh, end this video here. We'll all reorganize our armies. I mean, we some high tier spearmen, high tier archers. Well, we're going to be probably keeping the archers and just switching over. Get rid of the spearmen, put the tomb guard in their place. Tier 9. Oh, well, they're, they're legendary, of course. That makes sense. Rank 7, tomb guard. 92 armor. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty damn good. Cetra is... a monster, <laughs> pretty much. I think he pretty much is in the lore as well. But anyhow, this has been Anthwolf. When we come back, as they reorganize the armies, and then we're marching to the west. With five full stacks of, uh, like, five full armies, a six, seven, for potentially an eighth ready to maybe defend the Black Pyramid. I don't know what's going to happen once we get the fifth book. I'm guessing it's going to be a quest battle, which Cetra will only be involved in. But yeah, I, guess we'll, I guess we'll find out. As I feel free to comment if you so wish, and I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, bye-bye now.